Yo, what's good, y'all? Got on my mask right now because I'm about to get out of the car and go get a new board, finally. I'm gonna show you guys what my what my current board looks like um, later on when I'm setting up the new one, but the board I'm skating right now is so terrible, and I've had it forever. I don't know if you guys have been subscribed to my channel for a long time, but either last Halloween, no, it definitely wasn't last Halloween, the Halloween before last, the board that I'm skating now, I still had it, and I dropped a pumpkin on it from like a rooftop to see if it would break. It didn't break, but like the pumpkin guts are all over it, so it still looks gross. And the new board I got, not too long ago ended up breaking so I needed a board didn't really want to spend money on a board so I just used one of my old ones which happens to be the one that I dropped the pumpkin on but since I've been skating it it just got it got so bad like I said I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like later on but yeah I'm about to I'm about to uh, get out go get a new board and I'm excited I asked you guys on Instagram what board I should get because I said I'm gonna go get a new board what should I get and so many of you guys said Baker so I'm gonna go get a Baker board I've never I've actually never had a Baker board before Believe it or not. I remember not liking the shape of Baker boards, but I get used to boards like so fast, so it doesn't really matter the shape. Um, but yeah, Baker board. Never had one before. I'm gonna go get one. Hopefully they even have um Baker boards. I don't see why they wouldn't though, but um, yeah, I'm about to go out, get a board, and um pick up the video then. A few inches later. Okay, and the board has been acquired. They had a bunch of Baker boards, but they only had these like metallic ones in an 825 so i just got this one you guys can't really see it that good in, in here because of the lighting but you, you guys will see it when i'm setting it up it looks pretty sick though i like it okay yo i've been trying to film this video all day long but it's been so hot i was just like all right know it fuck it i'm gonna just wait until nighttime so we're doing a nighttime board setup bruh but now you guys can actually see the color of this look at it it's like a metallic dude it looks different on camera than it does in person all right there we go it's like a metallic, crazy, reddish color. All right, like I said, I've never had a Baker board before, but I always love this like simple Baker, like just the Baker right here. I don't know, I've always loved the look of this. Size 825 with the mob grip. You guys know I love the mob grip. Gotta have the mob grip. All right, it's late and this parking lot I'm in is kind of sketchy. So, well, it's not sketchy, but it's, it feels sketchy because it's nighttime. So I'm gonna try and film this video fast. You guys already know size 825. I'm so happy to be skating a new board right now. Oh, let me show you guys my old board, what I was working with. Look at this. Dude, look, first of all, look at the nose. Look at this. Like, come on, dude. Why, do my, why does my skin look red? What's going on, bruh? Look at the other side, look at that. Terrible, that's the pumpkin guts. Look at the tail, bruh. Oh no, look at this. I'm just gonna yank this up, look at that. This is what I was skating. Look at that tail, terrible. All right, I, I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me some questions so I can answer them while I set this up. So this is gonna be a skateboard setup slash q and I guess. All right, first question, how old were you when you started skating? I was, I think I was like 12 years old. I've always had a skateboard in my house ever since like as long as I can remember, since I was like a baby, I've just always had a skateboard in the house. Like 12 is when I actually started like getting into tricks and doing tricks and like getting real boards and stuff, you know what I mean? What obstacle do you like skating the most? Honestly, probably rails. Yeah, probably rails, even though I suck at rails. It's just like, when you do like a cool rail trick, you just feel, it's like a different type of feeling, you know what I mean? Oh, I'm gonna point you guys downward like that. Yeah, there we go. Like when you skate rails, it's like, Oh my god, I fucked it up. Like, when you skate rails, it's just like, it makes you feel like your balance is so good. Like, doing ledge tricks is cool. You know, flat ground tricks are cool. Skating stairs is cool. But when you do a good rail trick, it just ma it just makes you feel different. It makes you feel like a better skater. I feel like I haven't set up a board in so long. Do you think you'll ever go to Texas? Probably, I mean, I kinda wanna go like everywhere to skate. I know Texas has like a pretty big skate scene, so yes, I do wanna go to Texas sometime. That's so satisfying. I love putting on the grip tape. What's your favorite trick? Favorite trick, probably, as of right now, um, maybe Nolly Heel, I think. My favorite trick, like it changes a lot. My favorite trick used to be three shove. Oh my God. Can you guys hear the wind? If you can, I'm so sorry. My favorite trick used to be three shove, and then it used to be varial heel, and then it used to be switch heel. Oh, this is so satisfying. Wow, that was perfect. That was perfect. Um, but yeah, my favorite trick changes like so much. Right now it's probably Nolly Heel, but like tomorrow it's probably gonna be something else. Look at that, perfect. That's probably the best grip job I've ever done. Ooh, it's coming to get, oh, you guys can like see the color now, look at that. Ooh, I'm hyped. Um, how do you get into skateboarding? I got into skateboarding. Like I said, I was around 12 years old and then, um, like I said, I've always had a skateboard in the house, but I never like actually got into skating until, I remember, I don't remember what I was watching, but I was watching something and I saw someone do a tray flip and I just thought it was the coolest looking thing ever. And I was like, yo, I, I, I have to learn that someday. And then at school, these kids used to skate and one day after school they were skating and like I saw one of them do a heel flip and I was like, yo, that, 
like skating looks amazing like I have to learn these tricks so that's basically how I got into it I just saw people do tricks and I was like yo that looks so sick I have to learn that and then I remember getting a board and I never put a board down ever since all right here comes the part of the setup that I hate taking off and putting on the trucks I am so happy to no longer be skating this board fuck this board I'm time-lapsing this part because I doubt you guys want to see this because it's so boring oh wait wait also the day that I'm filming this it's, it's Go Skateboarding Day, so happy Go Skateboarding Day. Even though this video isn't gonna get posted until like Saturday. It's Sunday today, um, which means this video isn't even gonna get posted for like a whole nother week. But yeah, happy Go Skateboarding Day anyway. Dude, is it just me or like, do you guys also hate taking off and putting on the trucks? I just, I hate it for some reason. I love putting on the grip tape, but the trucks, I hate it. What's your favorite deck brand? Favorite deck brand, probably, honestly, it's been Creature for a long time. Like, I love Creature boards, just like the design of them. Like, I think Creature has like the best board graphics ever, dude. Like, they're just so sick. Like, I just love the style of it so much. I was actually gonna get a Creature board for this setup video, but like I said, I asked you guys on Instagram what board I should get, and so many people said Baker, so I was like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna just get a Baker board. Yeah the people what they want hardest trick ever in your opinion for me the hardest trick ever probably that switch hard flip and this one's super simple and like super easy and i'm sure a lot of you guys can do it but i just can't do it for some reason switch front pop shove it dude i just can't do that trick i don't know why oh fuck i just lost my bolt um yeah switch pop sh switch front pop shove it and switch hard flip probably like the switch front shove it i don't know i don't know what it is about that trick i can't i can't do it i'm probably gonna tr i'll try it actually in this video dude i keep dropping and losing the bolts usually when i set up a new board i would leave my old board like at a skate park or like at a school or something so somebody finds it and uses it but honestly i don't think anyone's gonna want this board like look at this thing who's gonna want this look at the tail i doubt anyone is gonna want this board. What city anywhere in the world would you love to take a vacation and go skate in? That's a good question. Probably New York. I've wanted to go to New York for so long. Like New York has some crazy skate spots. Like if you guys watch John Hill, I'm pretty sure all of you guys watch John Hill, but like his videos and like the spots that he finds and like goes to skate are so sick. Like it's crazy. I feel like New York and LA are like the two best cities for skating in the world and probably Barcelona. Like I've seen so many um, video parts and just clips and like people on Instagram skating Barcelona. Those spots also look sick, but I don't think Barcelona is a place that I would want to go to. You know what I mean? Like it just feels so foreign. All right, I'm time-lapsing this part again. Dude, I can't stand putting on trucks. Oh my goodness. I don't know why I hate it so much. Look at that though. It's coming along. I just gotta tighten the truck. How long did it take you to learn how to kickflip? Honestly, I don't remember. I remember it took me like a while, but I don't remember exactly how long it took me. But I do still remember like exactly where I was when I did my first click kickflip. I remember how it felt. It's crazy that like people remember those types of things, you know? Especially if you've been skating for like a long time. You should post daily videos again. Honestly, um, I've thought about it. I just don't think I could do it anymore. Especially, especially right now. Like it's over 100 degrees every single day and there's no way I can like go out and like you know film and skate and just do all that every single day in like a hundred degree weather but i have thought about it maybe in the future I'll, I'll do it um as of right now i'm probably just gonna stick to the two videos a week schedule see how that works and then you know if i get super used and comfortable with that then maybe i'll do three a week and then four a week and then maybe there will be the daily videos again but as of right now who knows Finally, dude, I'm almost done. I got like run, one screw left to tighten. Favorite skater? Definitely Shane O'Neill, dude. Shane O'Neill fucking kills it, dude. It's unbelievable how good he is. Like, it doesn't make any sense. All right, now for some reason, this last screw doesn't want to cooperate with me. Oh, it's kind of stripped a little bit. Dude, what the heck? All right, you know what? Fuck the last screw. I'm not even going to use it. Who is your favorite skater to watch? Shane O'Neill, obviously, and Nigel Houston. I could like watch Nigel's skate clips on Instagram all day long like i'll just go like scroll through his instagram and just watch his clips for like hours what kind of board did you get baker who are your dream sponsors dream sponsors mob grip i love mob grip it's literally the only grip i'll skate bones wheels and mountain dew yeah that's pretty much it i think those are my dream sponsors boards i kind of like i like a lot of boards i'm pretty sure i'm gonna like this baker board i guess creature I guess Creature would be a dream sponsor. Dude, this is looking good. Look at that. Look at that. Dude, look at that color. Look, you guys can see yourselves in it. Look at that. That's you guys. What are your future goals on YouTube or just in general? My goals for YouTube is um, that 100,000 subscribers. That is my all-time goal. I don't know if I'll ever get there, but that is a goal of mine. 
When I first started this channel, my goal was to get to 10,000 subscribers, and then I got there, and I was like, yo, this is sick. Like, obviously, I'm gonna, like, keep posting videos. Like, I wasn't just gonna get to 10,000 subscribers and just stop and be like, yeah, I did it. Dude, this bolt feels really weird. What the heck? And then after I was at 10,000, I was like, okay, let's get to 15,000. And then I got to 15,000, and now I'm like, let's get to 20,000. I'm so close to 20,000 subscribers, it's ridiculous. Like, when I started this channel, I did not expect to have over 20,000 subscribers. The support recently has been crazy. The channel's growing pretty fast. So once I hit 20,000 subscribers, the next goal is obviously 50,000, and then 100,000. Dude, if I ever get to 100,000 subscribers, I'll, dude, I don't know, that's just, I feel like that's my life's goal, is to get 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Like, before I even started YouTube, I would always watch those videos of, like, YouTubers hitting 100,000 subscribers and getting their YouTube plaques like their play buttons and I was like yo that would be sick but that it was always like a super far off like I'm never gonna get there type of thing and now that I'm at 20,000 and the, and the channel's growing it doesn't seem that far off it still seems like it'll take me a really long time to get there but it doesn't seem that far off so that's my goal for YouTube is to get to 100,000 subscribers and to actually make this like a long lasting career you know what I mean like I want to be able to like make enough money to like support myself and my friends and my family just from YouTube like that's the main goal favorite skate shoe brand probably Vans actually no I don't know that's a good question I really like Vans I really like Nike and I really like America but like which one's my favorite I have no idea I just I don't know that's a good question I don't know I actually don't really know all right I think that's all the questions wait there's a couple more I want to answer what's your favorite switch trick probably switch heel I love switch heels my favorite trick is nollie heel switch heel is like that's my number two favorite trick how to heel flip do you guys want to see a how to heel flip video i can heel flip i just i i don't like heel flips i don't like do i don't like doing them i don't even remember the last time i actually did a heel flip heel flips are like not a good trick for me i can do them i just i suck at heel flips but if you guys still want that video i don't know let me know all right that's all the questions i'm gonna answer because i am done setting up this board i left a screw missing because i don't know it just didn't want to go in for some reason i'm gonna try and put it back in that's what she said dude like the little nut doesn't want to screw onto it. All right, I think I got it. There we go, I got it. Yeah. Oh no, my tool is stuck. My tool doesn't want to come out. Oh, dude, what the fuck is going on? Dude, let go of my tool, please. Let, oh, what the hell? All right, but look at that. Look at that, we are done. Got the bones wheels, the bones bearings, independent trucks, baker board, mob grip. Doesn't get much better than that. Now I gotta get that, uh, gotta get the kickflip test. First try right here, no cuts in the video. Bruh. I failed, I failed you, I didn't do it. Okay, right here, second try. The shape is actually a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. Look at that, it looks so good. Dude, that color is crazy. I like it, I'm happy with it. I'm so happy I got a new board. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to put on stickers. I'll do that later though. Look at how it reflects the light. I don't know, this this color is sick. I wasn't even gonna get this color, but this is the only 825 that they had. But yeah, I'm gonna end the video here because this parking lot is super sketchy. I feel like Slender Man is about to like come from behind these bushes and just attack me. Yeah, fuck this. I'm going home. Anyway, though, guys, if you guys like the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Like I said, we're super close to 10,000, 10, 20,000 subscribers. So if you're new, subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>